KSAT Q&A, we take some of the questions that you have, some of the questions that we have, and take it to some of our guests. And Francine Pena is with the South Texas Blood and Tissue Center. She joins us now, and we're going to talk about the need for blood. And Francine, we were talking earlier that there is this is a need that is exacerbated by the cold weather. I mean, you guys needed blood anyway, but with cold weather and shutting down the donation areas, I'm guessing it really yeah. took a hit. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So the holidays is a time period where we see a low donor turnout, but there's still that need. So we were coming off the holiday season with a low inventory level, and then we get this cold front that really then affected donors coming out. So if we're encouraging people to, if they can donate, please come out and donate. And of course, the, this cold weather has only lasted for a few days, though it might feel a little bit longer than that. So how critical is that to you all, even just a couple of days of missing out on donations? It, it is very critical because the need for blood is, is always there. Um, people undergoing surgeries, uh, cancer patients, moms having babies, those things don't stop happening. Mm -hmm. And so we still have a need. And when we're sitting at a two day supply like we are, we don't have the, let's say extra really needed when we have these cold fronts come in or anything that um, impacts the, our ability to co collect blood. Yeah. How easy is it to donate? I mean, I think a lot of people like it's getting past the initial filling out the forms, things like that. I'm so glad you asked me that question because I think it's really easy and it's really just trying it one time and getting over that fear. Most people have a fear of donating and the actual needle in arm time is really about five to 10 minutes. I know both of you all have donated before yeah. and are very aware, but first step, schedule an appointment. Um, second step, you'll do a questionnaire online, takes about 10 minutes. When you show up, we'll do a brief medical screening, another 10 to 15 minutes, get you all prepped, ready, five, 10 minutes that you're donating. We'll keep you for about another 10 minutes just to make sure you're feeling okay. Um, but it it's easy mm -hmm. once you once you do it. Yeah, yeah, and much needed. Yeah. And much needed. It took me six minutes, 32 seconds in the fall. You sat and talked with me while it happened. It took longer to fill out the form. It does. But once you do that, then your profile and everything is saved, correct? Should you come back and want to donate again? So that questionnaire, we actually have to ask it uh, every single time in okay. case something has changed. So you do have to fill out the questionnaire every time. Okay, and I think that's a big question people have is what about their individual conditions or travel, things? like that how do they find out whether they can donate the best thing to do is to give us a call because we have excellent staff nurses on staff that can answer any questions about their medical history or medication that they're on and we can find out for your specific situation are you eligible to donate most of the time it's if you're feeling healthy and well you're 16 or older meet the weight requirements you're able to donate you know often when there are tragic events when people wonder what can I do to help we see an, a huge increase in donations you is the last the thing I'm thinking of right now and what we need to realize is there are people who are suffering and can really use that blood all the time so I know there's an effort to get people to give more than once or twice a year. And I think you brought a t-shirt to talk to us about I that. I did. We, right now we have a challenge. It's called the Commit for Compassion Challenge. Um, we're asking people if they could donate, you know, four times a year, that would be great. If you've never donated before, donate one time. Maybe you'll feel inspired to donate a second time or a third time. When you come in and donate, you'll get this t-shirt here. And you can track your life-saving donations. The first one comes checked already. Next donation, bring it back, and we'll continue to check those boxes. I'm just going to wear it every time. <laughs> yeah, wear it, yeah, yeah, wear it yeah. every time. We're going to encourage people to wear it every time. I brought you and Myra your shirts. So Thank yes, you. Please, awesome. please do. So one of the biggest misconceptions that we hear about when it comes to blood donation, you all don't pay for donations. And some people think, though, that the South Texas Blood and Tissue Center makes money off of donations. What's the real story there? So we don't pay for donations, but we do have nice thank you gifts that we sure. try to give our, give our donors. Um, and we're not selling your blood blood. We do provide blood to hospitals and in return, hospitals reimburse us 
for our expenses that we incur, whether it's our buildings, our infrastructure, our staff, our training. So we basically get a reimbursement to help pay for those costs, testing, making sure that it's safe. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so that's what it is that, that we get reimbursed by hospitals. Um, we're not selling your blood and uh, we try to show our donors appreciation with nice little gifts. What would you say to somebody out there who's on the, on the you know, fence on the donating. fence about this whole thing. Should, you know, what what often do you say to people that gets them to say, all right, I'm going to donate? So I, I like to give uh, stories of patients who need blood. Um, that really seems to, yeah. to really pull at people's heartstrings. Uh, there's uh, uh, kids with leukemia that can't continue on with their chemotherapy treatments if they don't get the blood in order to help mm -hmm. the, increase their levels so that way they can continue. Cancer patients. Cancer patients. Blood, I mean, I know mothers giving birth is something people don't think about, but yeah. you need blood yeah. for that. Yeah, maternal hemorrhage is, a, is, a, is a, a significant reason why we need blood. The number one reason is cancer patients, Steve. So you, you hit the nail on the head there. About 34% of the blood that we collect goes to cancer patients. Surgery is, is another one. Um, my mom happened to have surgery this week. She's doing well, Good. but um, the hospitals are full. The, the, it was very cold that Monday. Uh, so people didn't come out and donate blood, but the hospitals were still full. Those surgeries are still happening. I know people have heard us say this, that one donation can save three lives. Mm -hmm. So explain how that's possible. And also what's the first step to just getting an appointment to donate? Yeah. So yeah, we say one uh, donation can save up to three lives. You donate whole blood. It goes back to our components lab and they separate it out into three different components. That would be your red blood cells, your platelets and your plasma. So it could go to three different patients. So saving up to three lives. Yeah. Yeah. And I know you have an app. People can call a number. I mean, there's so many different ways. Yeah, you can reach I, out I do like love our app. Our app yeah. is great because you can schedule your appointment right online. Um, you get points too for your donation and you can redeem your points makes it really convenient. But yeah, call us 210-731-5590. Visit our website, southtexasblood.org. Um, and schedule that appointment. I'm, I'm just envisioning Myra with the stopwatch timing herself <laughs> on how long it takes exactly her to give happens. blood and like, you know, willing her veins to pump faster than the average person. The, the squeezing. You know, that's what the, I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm just, squeezing. you know. We I'm don't just, encourage hey. that. You might get, yeah, um, <laughs> Francine, we don't want you to get you lightheaded. Right there with me. Yes. Okay, <laughs> now, you know what she told me? The more hydrated you are, the faster That is go. true. Okay. That is See, very true. I just know Myra's competitive. Yes. You know. I just, she was she was racing the donor yeah, next that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. But yes, uh, eat a healthy meal, <laughs> drink lots of water. It'll be a good experience if you follow those steps. Got, I'm timing myself the next time. Afterwards, I'm timing myself the next time to see if I can hit any. 632. Steve, 30, are you a platelet donor, is, though? I give whatever you, I mean. Well, whatever you, yeah, platelet yeah. donations take a little bit longer, and I don't want to go into all the, the yeah, weeds all right, of that, but right, we right. appreciate you guys. Okay. We do know, we do it's have a quick a reminder. We do have a quick reminder for National sure. Blood Donor Month. KSAC Community Partners helping people schedule their donations. If you want to donate for the first time, if you're a pro, visit donatebloodtoday.com to schedule your donation. Go to South Texas Blood and Tissue Center if you want to, or go to donatetoday.com. We'll be right back. Point is, it's easy, okay? That's all I'm saying. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.